Eureka! Eureka! Eureka. I'm doing this straight away. <clears throat> so, um, back to the sort of old styly. Gonna be a long chat. Um, I may have a star in my eye. I may look like crap. But that really doesn't matter. It's thoroughly irrelevant. <laughs> well, not completely. But, people, <laughs> brothers and sisters, <laughs> Eureka. For me, my journey, the last uh, six years of making videos, put them in playlists, numbered one, two, three, four, seven. Seven is conclusion. Uh, this has been a big conclusion. Um, going back. 2014, September 2014, when I was first feeling God. And I just now had an equal strength of that connection. And in the last three years, I have learnt a lot. And what I have just now understood is what I felt is source is probably the best word because God what we call God is our mother and father our creator and what God calls God is God's mother and father and creator and God has brothers and sisters well once you're in soul unity just call it kin right so we have one God it's our mother and father they are one we are in God God is in us but he's a person an entity and there is a name we can call on, and that's Jesus, said that way. We'll get the attention of your mother and father. But your mother and father were once like us. Now, we're not that new. We've been prepared and primed. We've had many, many lives as animals and plants and things. All, all time on this earth and we have other brothers and sisters in this universe this universe being the physical manifestation of God so you just got to remember this physical reality is just it's just one one layer of of reality and the dominant layer of reality is where our souls are. Now if you think your soul is all feeling so the dominant layer of reality is a feeling reality. And when you feel other people it's good, right? It's nice. It's practically what's the only thing that makes life worth living. And we're doing it online, you know, commenting and doing live videos and people doing content, interacting. It does work. I mean, obviously, because we like it. And 
there's there's feeling. Sometimes it's negative, you know, but that's just the way it is. Like I remember when I used to go to school, what often got me up in the morning was sometimes thinking about some girl, but and there were some things that would put you off because the feeling between a person at school maybe they didn't like you or they wanted to beat you up so that could put you off but then you had your friends and that would draw you draw you in um, so yes so the dominant layer of reality is a feeling reality and our mother and father God is an all feeling being but has a physical manifestation and that physical manifestation is the physical universe we can see and we can see it with telescopes and we can see there's a hundred billion galaxies all like this spiral galaxies there are little mini galaxies but they're within we've got a little mini galaxy within our own galaxy that's the Pleiades it's a, a, a bunch of stars within our galaxy it's not anything like the scale of the Milky Way and all the galaxies are roughly the same size and they all have black holes and these black holes were made six billion years ago and we're seeing the gamma ray bursts now or about six billion years so our physical manifestations our souls so at the moment we're we're borrowing this body from God we're borrowing, God has given us this planet only, right? Just this planet to live and learn. And we've been on this planet as animals, as I've said. Now we're in beings which are aware. But it's taken time for, for us to, to learn. And there had to be a falling away so that there could be a coming up. You know, that's how you learn. You, you make the mistake and rather get it out of the way, right? So, we're now coming to the stage where we're learning that love is the answer. We're becoming aware of what we are. And we will get to explore the whole universe fully, you know. Not, but probably not in spaceships. I don't know. But probably not. Through other, some other means. You can travel in your mind. Um, but so... So the, but the dominant thing is the feeling. It's all about the feeling and then the physical manifestation is just a, a picture of the feeling. So we're in God. In each one of these black holes there's another universe. And that's you. Or me. And, or somebody else. We've each got one. That's what we are. With our soulmate to make that universe so we have an eternal companion <laughs> and that feels quite good so back to the Eureka so that that is it one so I so I can so when I was first doing it the feelings were very strong I was connecting with source thinking that was our mother and father God Unavailable, aren't they? but I've since. In the meantime, as I've sort of sensed feelings and made sense of things, and you know, just you know, a lot's happened in three years. So I started to feel how I could connect with um, our Creator, the 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 soul that we're in. We are in a soul, but all this since realizing that the soul we're in is in another soul, and the soul we're in has other brothers and sisters. I mean, it's massive. And feeling source again now for the first time in quite a long time that I have felt source like that. That's what I at the beginning. That's what I. I did f get into contact because, yeah, it's uh, it's big and, oh, yeah, 
just boom just the <laughs> if you you know if you ever want some love <laughs> right think how much love our mother and father Jesus has and then just it's just it's just massive it's just massive so I'm very glad that today I decided to cancel a call um, mainly because the snow is not properly melted yet I don't want to wreck my car but they, they were fine to have it tomorrow they were in no rush and um, and I'm very glad that I decided to sit down and and, and do nothing see uh, it's weird like because lately God's been trying to sort of point me towards because I've talked about source and God before I mean I've talked about this before and I said about there are maybe seven generations and then you hit source and like and I was just like and after that I just don't know what goes on um, and God's been sort of pointing me towards that and I've been thinking <laughs> no, I, don't, I don't really want to know <laughs> Um, yeah, so I've been, there's so it's been a few, few times that I've just gone, no, I don't need to know that, you know, I've got a hundred billion years, that'll do, <laughs> you know, I, I'm sure after a hundred billion years, I probably won't mind just sort of ceasing to exist or just going into some sort of ocean of, <laughs> right, but, Today I could really see how it just, you know, because it boggles the mind to think what you might do in 100 billion years or more or stuff, you know, but, so, oh, just, yeah, it's, um, and, and then this analogy, about the tree of life being this whole thing, this whole picture, measuring the roots and the branches as well. You know, we're just the latest twig on the tree of life. But it's just. Just never ending. It's awesome. Number on it. So they're all gonna, be, you know, God is an all feeling thing. God is gonna be keep continuing to feel with his brothers and sisters, and so I keep saying his, his, uh, and his uh, mother and father, right? And maybe even by now, have got, you know, connections with. His, her uncles and aunties, right? As we may begin to do. And, but, and, and the fact that we're all in this tree of life, you know, we're all, we're all a part of it. And it's all loving. You know, once you get beyond the stage that we've been going through, last six thousand years you know the last six thousand years the equivalence is a bit like the um, bird taking its first flight you know the bird drops quite far for a while <laughs> and then starts to flap and you know perhaps gets to the point where it's not falling so fast anymore and then flap a bit harder and then and starts getting higher and higher and
you know, and I, I just had a little thought about all the the scientists and the doctors and you know this thing about people love like getting praised don't they you know from other people like so you know if I get a thumbs up from a video it's nice right so and the thing is you got all in academia all these people are all standing around in a circle patting each other on the backs sort of thing you're doing a good you're doing a good job you're doing a good job you know and that's the only thing which is sustaining um the this sort of error basically is you know the I mean, it's good to understand the physical universe. But when you think, when you take it as this is all there is, this is what it is, you know, then you make wrong conclusions, which is what scientists do. I can't think of an example at the moment, but there, this happens all the time. You know, Let's take some of the rare diseases, like rare diseases, Huntington's diseases, I mean, that's not even that rare, but, you know, and, the, you know, and they'll measure it, and they'll do this, and they'll say, well, because of this physical thing happened here, then it must, you know, this this is the problem, or is it, I know that, you know, there could be issues in the genes or whatever, but that's the point I'm trying to make. Just to to say we have to, you know, to understand everything on a physical level. And but I think what happens is they get into the realms of of where, you know, physical reality just doesn't follow the rules anymore. Quantum mechanics, right, quantum physics. So, you know, whereby, you know, the, the doctor doing something has an effect. I mean, they know healing, right? They know healing is power of belief. You know, the, the power the doctor has, if, say someone, take these and you'll be better, right? That straight away, the healing. They know these Indian healers, you know, the American Indians, they would have some feathers in their mouth, bite the tongue to get some blood, and then <coughs> cough it up and say, oh, look what I got out of your chest, sort of thing. Throw that in the bin. Now you'll be better. And it worked. And they knew it worked. And if anyone wanted to learn, they would teach them, but they would promise that they would have to, you know, do healing and do it if they, you know, before they would teach them. So, and, you know, medical science, you know, they, they do know this, that they do know about the placebo. They know the effect of it. But you know when you when you give people chemical drugs and stuff and you know like for epilepsy and stuff and it just it shuts down parts of the brain so you know they're never really curing anything and they do often say this isn't a cure you know they never really cure anything and when they do just some new disease pops up it's on a more complicated level anyway so I, you know, I think the only reason that it gets sustained is because everyone's patting each other on the back, saying "good job, carry on," you know, and they give give each other awards and stuff like that, and it just that that's what keeps it going. Big thing to to really to really feel. So when you really feel something, that is when you know. But 
feeling is an operation of the heart. Now, sorry, I mean, like, there's so many scales of feeling. What I now call feeling, I should say feeling with my heart, but I couldn't. So, okay, so three years ago I did, because I went without cannabis for two weeks and then I had cannabis, I was able to get myself into a very high state of love. So I was feeling with my heart then. But, say it happened three or four times. Then I couldn't quite get it again and there was things to learn. So, you know, it's... It took time for me to, to, to understand there's a place in my heart where I can go and do things. It's like doing things. You know, it has the effect of doing things. It's like the feeling you, you have afterwards is, oh, I've done something. It's more than speaking words and it's, you know, it is, <laughs> yeah, it is doing stuff. Because we like doing things. Doing things is like a, you know, permanence. Something's been done. When something's said, it's more like just a, an intention or a, it's not quite a, it's a things that are said are permanence. Anyway, I'm getting a bit too deep with this. Um, so, you know, that journey to to get into my heart I guess what it was I had an experience of source and being part of the the, the big 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 tree of life the big 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 everything that existence Million, billions of universes, couldn't even say how many. But remember, they're just the picture. I'm not trying to make the sun come out, I'm just going to try and feel source again. The love and if it be the will.
I can see light, feels light, feels warm. I don't know if anything's happening outside. It must be. That's it.
Well, I'm not sure it'd be wise to upload this. It's even recording. It is out of my eye. Terrible. It is actually much brighter than on the video camera. See that the thing about it probably Ah oh, no you see that Sun coming out, nothing to do with me. <laughs> I'm finished. I don't know. Maybe it was coming out. But yeah, it was a distraction having the video. But what happened there was, <laughs> in a sense, <coughs> the, the pain thing. I mean, yeah, I didn't crack it then, and maybe, maybe the pain is just saying, <laughs> stop doing this. There's nothing more to see here now for now. I know. Sometimes I think of it as my pain. Sometimes I think of it as others. And because sometimes the pain does come up through the heart and it moves, it changes, it goes, and, and sometimes it's very reluctant. What I felt before I made this film it was it was awesome and that will stay with me. Stay with me forever. Because being part of that tree of life sort of at one with all. was something that I couldn't make happen. Well, you know, I couldn't, didn't know it was going to happen today. Like I said, I've been avoiding it. Been no harder. <laughs> See? So part of the master plan. <coughs> Ow. So I'm 
I mean, maybe this is how I damaged my ankle before. Carrying on through the pain when there's no point. because I stopped I mean I have gone further before and yeah my whole body was like doing weird stuff like, like all the felt like all the cells were spinning around or something I was still aware of the searing heat where I'm feeling it in my feet and it's big yeah I am feeling it where you know I'm feeling the right ankle here where it's being squashed and the toe the left toe here but, but when it first happened it was coming in the soles of my feet Bizarre thing. Tree of life. It's like comes into your heart, like your heart torus shape, right? Tree of life coming from there into your heart, like because you are part of the tree of life. So mother and father God is there, their mother and father there, they're jump, 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 sort of. So all their brothers and sisters and all our brothers and sisters, you know, we're all in it. <laughs> but you, you have a direct path to source. That's through your mother and father, through their mother and father, through their mother. That is your direct path to source. Maybe when I'm not feeling this, maybe that's when I get the pain in the feet. We'll see. Bow the head. <coughs> 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 
bow the head in humility to your heart. And then it can flow. Just as Jesus, our mother and father, we must go through them towards source. They are directly <coughs> between us and towards source. So is God's mother and father likewise. And when I'm not feeling in my heart, pain may well go to the, my feet. And that's possible. And so even though I might feel Jesus, mother and father, To go towards source, I would need to get through another person. And they to so it's going to be different every time. And 
you know. As long as I'm feeling in my heart, I'm doing the right thing. So now I can be guided. Pain in the feet. You're not quite getting something with the heart. And like I say, every step will be a puzzle. And it'll be gradual. And I know the direction. I think um, I'm going to have a break. I'm not going to rush it. There's no rush. There's no urgency. Simple joys are holy, day by day, stone by stone, million secrets slowly. Okay, bye.